We're set for action at the Sun Bowl in El Paso, Texas. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and I'm joined by the former quarterback, Kirk Herbstreit. And we'll also hear from Aaron Andrews in a bit. It's college football on ESPN. Today's game presented by Nissan, proud partner of the Heisman Trophy. We'll see the Utah State Aggies and the Texas El Paso Miners. Utah State will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. Schneider fields it at the 11. At the 40, across midfield, inside the 30, to the 10, and he's finally brought down at the five-yard line. Wow, what a great way to open the game. Now the offense is in great shape to score and make an early statement. Here's the tailback. Touchdown. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this. And he adds the extra point. Bennett gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. They'll get the ball here at the 21-yard line. First and 10. And they got him for a loss. I like the combination of speed and strength that this cornerback plays with. He's a real valuable part of the defense. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 20. James, back to pass. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. From their own 33-yard line, first down. James running the option. I'm not even sure the ball carrier saw the corner coming for him. That happened so fast, he never had a chance to make a move. From their own 29-yard line, second down. James drops back to pass. It's a fumble. They fall on it. And the ball changed hands now after the fumble. This is a great bonus for this defense. They are taught to attack and try to strip the football, and this is a result of their aggressive play. Here's the give. That's a great tackle at the 35-yard line. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. From the 35-yard line, second down. Drops back to pass. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. It's batted down. Incomplete. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. And he throws it away.
from their own 35-yard line. Third down. And this place is rocking. Looking long to the right. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. I thought they did a good job of reading the play and positioning themselves well to break up the pass. So it's fourth down. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. Down he goes at the 34. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. They come out on an empty backfield. Got it to the senior. And he's level at the 42. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Throws incomplete, broken up. When you're in zone coverage, that means your linebackers have got to be ready to defend the pass coming into their area. That was a good reaction to tip the ball away. And they'll bring in the goal line set for this one. He makes it to the 45-yard line. He didn't get much, but he got enough for the first down. Well, that's really all they wanted there was to pick up the first down and get a fresh set of downs and continue to move the ball downfield. Looking to throw. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. Texas El Paso is up seven. Catches it. He's hit and taken down. Second and two yards to go. Ball on the 14. They'll run it. Touchdown, UTEP! He got the handoff and knew exactly what to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defenses. And he converts the extra point. It was a seven-play, 66-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. The score now, 14 nothing. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This drive will start at the 20-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 12. The safety comes up with a nice sack. Yes, he does. Here he comes clean on the blitz and got to the quarterback before he had a chance to really go through his progression. Nice play for this defense. James, back to pass. Tackle at the 21. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. And this stadium is getting loud. And he can't get away from the pressure. It was the safety who came from the secondary who made the sack. Man, this is an aggressive defense. Another blitz, and again, it works out. They send guys from everywhere to get to this quarterback. Schneider fields it at the 46. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. He showed a good burst there. They'll start this drive at the 30. Nice.
Nice run up the middle. Burke picks up five with the carry. They're about four yards away here on second down. Hugh set to go to the air. And he's tackled right away. First down from the 11-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Parker gets six yards on the carry. It's second down. Six yards stand between them and six points. Halfback gets a call, and he's got the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 31-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. The score now, 21, nothing. Bennett has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Makes it to the 22-yard line. They'll set up shop at the 22. It's first and 10. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Throws it. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. Second and 10. Ball on the 22. some pressure on him that time. Yeah, and what that does is mess up the timing of the offense, causing the incompletion. They'll make the sack. He was a sitting duck on that play, and believe me, these defensive players love a sitting duck. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. There are flags all over the place. Here's the call from the head referee. Schneider is back deep to return. Schneider takes it to the 45. Whoa, he just took a licking. Well, the coverage team did their job and made the play. Let's see if the defense can continue the effort. The defense has really struggled to slow these guys down, but maybe a good special teams play like... Give him an extra boost. It's on the ground. The defense falls on it. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. Good hustle there by the D lineman. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen, but that's what they mean when they talk about a guy has a motor that's running. He never quit, and he played to the whistle. Slides down. 
He didn't get a bunch of yards, but it's better that he protects himself rather than taking a big hit on that play. James gets the ball. They'll knock him down for a loss. It was a defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And this one's broken up. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The offense will take over at the 20-yard line. It's first and 10. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Now he's flushed, and they got him. Unfortunately, I've taken a few of those in my day, and they are not pleasant. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. And it looks like they're going to go no huddle here. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Now he's scrambling. He's pushed out of bounds at the 27. Sometimes when you think you've got great plays called, the defense just has the answers. Gutierrez awaiting the return. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. They went for it on fourth and didn't get it. I'm not quite sure. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Holmes gets a ball left side. And he carries the ball for a nice game. From the 25 yard line, it's second down. He's tackled at the 24. Call his own number on that one. I like the idea of trying to run here, but the defense really made him pay the price for trying to run. James drops back to pass. Got it and brought down immediately. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. is drilled at the 18-yard line. Pound for pound, this is a very solid offensive line. They know that if they do their job, they'll make enough room for short conversions. From the 18-yard line, first down. James to the air on first down. And he tackles him hard at the 11-yard line. The quarterback didn't see anybody open downfield, so he took it himself and picked up some decent yardage. Second down. They'll line up on the 10. Up the middle for a nice game. A delay doesn't always work unless the ball carrier lets the play open in front of him. Of course, you need some good blocking, too, which they had here on this play. And they'll run him again. Touchdown, Utah State. He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 31-yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. So our score, 21-7. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line.
They'll go to work at the 37. They work the right side, and there is nothing going there. Three-yard gain by the running back. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. The defender had it and then dropped it. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's on the run. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. Well, that's just too bad. They made the stop, but a flag is going to keep the chains moving. From the 45-yard line, first down. And he's hit immediately. From the 36-yard line, second down. He scrambled. He's at the 30, and they make the stop at the 21-yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. It's first and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. Handoff brought down quickly. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. And that was the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. Second and eight, ball on the 19. Hicks off the left side. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. First and goal from the five, and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Taken down in the backfield. He knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Dumps it across the middle, caught for the touchdown. And so he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. It was an eight-play, 62-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So the score now, 28-7. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Brought down at the 31. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of it. Handoff inside, and he's quickly brought down. So the halfback gets only two on the draw play. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Five wide. Back to pass, and they got him in a hurry. They couldn't get him blocked up that time. We'll probably be hearing his name for some time to come because he's only in his first year on the field. Looking to throw, and they get the sack. 
And that is one inspired defense right now. Boy, that's just a great job of getting in there again. Schneider takes it at the 45. He gets hit out of bounds at the 31. Pretty good job by the return man there. Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. It looked like they caught the quarterback by surprise. Well, that's a great call by the defensive coordinator. They send him off the corner, and he just uses his speed to get the sack. Hands it off inside, brought down. As we change ends of the field, I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome. Our score here at the Sun Bowl is Texas El Paso, 28, Utah State, 7. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Now he's scrambling. Lost the ball. Fumble. So this could be the opportunity they were looking for. Yeah, this will be a big possession by both teams. The defense... needs to step up and hold their ground. They do not want to let this lead slip away. Caught. And down he goes at the 38. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Passing into coverage, and this one's going to be picked off. And he's taken down at the 38-yard line. They're going to have to make some changes in a hurry, or else this game will be over by halftime. From the 38-yard line, first down. They come out in a five-wide set. Strike complete, and the defense swarming. Chavis gains seven yards with a catch there. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Hicks on the give. Makes it out to about the 13. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 13-yard line. The halfback with a carry. Touchdown, Miners! Boy, everything's clicking right now. This is one of those games coaches dream of. There's still a lot of football left, but right now, these guys are steamrolling through. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 38-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So the score now, 35-7. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. For UTEP, they're really getting after the quarterback tonight. You know, right now they're just putting on a clinic. Well, right now they're using great athletic ability to put pressure on the quarterback. And I think the one thing that's very obvious for any offense is when you're facing this kind of pressure, it starts to become a mental game as much as the physical aspect of it. And right now this defense is in the head of this offense. And for the Aggies, a side effect of all these line problems is they can't get anything going. Well, I think they're doing a great job right now with their athletic ability of putting pressure on the quarterback. And when you're an offense and you're struggling like this, it's going to put you in a lot of third and long situations, which obviously allows the defense to pin their ears back and just flat out come after the quarterback. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That is just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. And they got him. And for Morgan, he's now gotten to the quarterback twice. This safety is the definition of a heavy hitter. The way he comes up in the pass rush is devastating. He's really put a hurting on this quarterback.
Schneider fields it at the 44. Knocked out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Nice yardage on the run back. We'll see if they can get it in as they start this drive in the red zone. Texas El Paso up by a bunch. Run the middle and nothing there. Brown gets three yards on the play. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 17. And that one's incomplete. He overthrew the intended receiver. Oh, boy. They take a shot here at the end zone, and he just let that one get away from him. They run straight. Brought down quickly. That was some sure tackling to make sure he didn't pick up the first down. And the field goal is good. Bennett is lined up to kick this one off. And this is just a booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. From their own 20-yard line, it's first down. On the handoff, watch out. Makes it out to about the 39. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39. The ball is loose. Picked up by the defense. Brought down at the 30. What was most impressive is how he followed the play and he just didn't give up on it. It was that effort that allowed him to come away with the fumble. So the offense will come out onto the field to take over once again. They got three points on their last drive, but with this kind of field position, they should be looking to get the ball into the end zone. Makes it out to about the 19. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 19-yard line. And they'll get him in the backfield. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. Feeds it to the back. Makes it out to about the 10. Good execution on the counter, and that'll be a 10-yard gain. From the 10-yard line, third down, five wide. Tipped away. Well, that's one effective way to slow these guys down. Getting a hand between the ball and the receiver. And it's through the uprights. Well, that one looked like it was going to be wide, but he put it inside the upright. Yeah, he squeaked that one in, and he didn't have much more than a couple of inches to spare. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll get the ball here at the 20. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Clark gains around six yards on the run. From their own 26-yard line, second down. at the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, third down. Clark gets another handoff, makes it to the 37, and a big run on third down. Anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. And he throws it away.
from their own 37 yard line. Second down. On the option, and he's brought down for a loss. A good tackling safety is key for any defense. And if they can diagnose a play like this guy can, he can be a real menace. Back to pass, and they got him in a hurry. The pressure was just too much to handle that time as this defensive end was able to sack the quarterback. They came with a blitz, and this time it worked out. The quarterback had no open receivers, and he just went down. They'll start at the 32. He gets sacked on the play. There's sack number four. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnovers. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Now he's scrambling. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Quarterback tried to roll out of the pocket there, and it seemed to work pretty well, completing a nice pass. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. They come out in a five-wide set. He scrambles. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. Nice defensive stand there. And some good play calling defensively. They always had someone in the right spot to make a play and force the three and out. Atkins is the punter. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 24. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. First and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. Inside give. And they get nice yardage on that run. The tailback picks up a solid seven yards on the counter play. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Throws it falling back and almost intercepted. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. No time to throw. They got in there quickly. The blitz worked on that play as they got to the quarterback. Well, the linebacker's going to get credit here for the sack, but that was outstanding coverage downfield. The quarterback didn't have any options downfield, giving the linebacker time to make the play. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. The offense will take over at the 47. Five wide. He's scrambling. He's tackled at the 43. Four yards there on the scramble. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 43-yard line. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And he's taken down at the 19-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 19-yard line. Texas El Paso, up by a big margin. Pugh looking to throw on first down. Going to the end zone, touchdown for the tight end. How about the tight end? This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 47-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score, 48-7. UTEP gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
And for McFarlane, he's having himself a pretty good game. I mean, this guy has just really separated himself from everybody else on the football field. It's just going to be a, an individual performance you're going to remember for a long time. To me, this is just a classic example of just being bigger, faster, and stronger than the guy trying to block you. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 19. James with the option. The halfback took the pitch but couldn't find any running lanes. And there were no running lanes because this defense had so much penetration into the backfield. He would have been lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. James steps back to pass. He goes down at the 49. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. James back to throw. Recovered by the defense. And this could be a big return to the 20, to the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Great play here by the defender. You know, it's trickier than it looks to scoop up a loose ball and then get your motor started. But he's able to do it and made that play look smooth for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Bennett has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. From their own 20-yard line, first down. Clark, the ball carrier. Down the sideline. To the 20. To the 10. And he scores. Touchdown. And for Clark, he's just gone over 100 yards on the day. The game plan they devised has been working fantastically. And nowhere has that been more evident than in the rushing numbers. And he adds the extra point. White has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Tackle made at the 41-yard line. They'll go to work at the 41. They come out in a goal line set. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. They gain a yard or two there on the draw. This junior corner's been progressively improving his run defense. He's better at diagnosing those plays now, and he knows how to bring a guy down. Q, back to pass. Way to look it in. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. Here's a run. Makes it out to about the 33. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Brown on the handoff. Gets out to around the 22. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Hugh drops back. Finds his receiver who's all alone. And that sets them up for the first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. Well, another great play and another touchdown. But, man, I hope they let up on the throttle a little bit. This lead seems to be pretty secure already. He makes the PAT. It was a six-play, 59-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So our score, 62-14. Brought 
down at the 42. The offense will start at the 40. and they wrestle him down behind the line. Loss of one there for the halfback. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. They'll run the option, and they'll bring him down behind the line. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from the safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield? This guy just flies all over the field. They'll spread the field with five wide. Complete. He's got room. Brought down at the 44. Well, the passing game is a lot easier for a quarterback when two corners aren't in coverage. I respect the gutsy call on the defensive side to blitz both corners, but it left him too vulnerable against the pass. Little screen pass. They'll bring him down at the 38. They'll get six yards. I like the play call here. Getting to the receiver on the screen, he had blockers in front, and he turned the play into a nice little game. job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. Little handoff. And he carries the ball for a nice game. You admire their faith in the running game, but a pass might have been the better way to go. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. They'll start at the 39. And he's taken down at the 14-yard line. And for Pew, that's now over 200 yards passing for the first half. I'll tell you what, this guy is so much fun to watch when he gets into a rhythm like this. Caught with room to work. Touchdown, UTEP. And for Pew, he now has three touchdown passes. The quarterback is just having a great game so far. He's had absolutely no problem finding the end zone. And he adds the extra point. A short two-play, 61-yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. You know, you could throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. The score now, 69 14. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Feeling the pressure, and he fumbles the football. Touchdown, Miners. But it always makes you nervous any time a defender tries to pick up a fumble and run with it instead of just falling on it. But man, did it work out for him here for a big-time play in the score. And he tacks on the extra point. 
Bennett is lined up to kick this one off. He hits a booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This drive will start at the 20. It's first and 10. for a loss. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. And that's it for the first half, and this game is getting ugly. Our score here at the Sun Bowl is UTEP 76, Utah State 14.
We're all ready for another half of football, even though this game is already out of hand. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense will take over at the 20. And they got him for a loss. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. James, options, left side. Nice run there. So he picks up about five on the option to the halfback. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on their own 23. Hand off and he won't make it. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. Tackle at the 46. Nowhere to go there. Great job of getting downfield and making the tackle by the coverage team. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. They hand it off. And they make the stop at the 33. From the 33-yard line, it's first down. Here's a run up the gut, but nothing going there. Brown gains about a yard on the play. From the 32-yard line, second down. Tackled in the open field. Around an eight-yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Very effective play calling in a third down situation. It's plays like that you need to win ball games. Convert on third down. On the move, he throws complete. Tackle made at the seven. Second down. They'll line up on the seven-yard line. There's the handoff. He scores. He really plowed his way into the end zone there. Great-looking touchdown. Once you get inside the 10-yard line, this halfback is...
Automatic. A six-play, 54-yard drive, and a touchdown's a result. So our score, 83-14. And he's tackled at the 23. The offense will start at the 23-yard line. Got a receiver and he dropped it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 23. They'll knock him down for a loss. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. From their own 22-yard line, it's third down. They come out in a five-wide set. Going long. Quick thinking there. You know, they're liable to put the ball in the air on third, so it's a smart play to keep your hands ready. Tackle made at the 48-yard line. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. They go with the back, and he's got room to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, big play. Did you see how explosive he looked? He had his sights set on the end zone, and he was not going to be stopped. He makes the PAT. Bennett has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll set up shop at the 20. We've got a first and 10. Nice run there. Clark picks up about four yards on the delayed handoff. Second down and six. Ball on the 24-yard line. Feeling the pressure, and he fumbles the football. The 10. Touchdown, UTEP. Defensive touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift. This was a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it the distance. And he converts the extra point. Texas El Paso is ready to kick it away. He kicks a short line drive. Goodman takes it to 28. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. They'll go to work at the 40-yard line. James drops back on first down. Knocked down. Incomplete. From their own 40-yard line, second down. James drops to throw, slides down to the ground, and he just slid down to avoid the contact there. You know, Brad, sometimes a quarterback's got to get down low to protect himself, but in this case, try to show some guts, break a tackle, and get downfield. Look for the first down. Completes it across the middle. And he's tackled at the 49. The offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series. Outstanding pressure here on the quarterback. They sent every one of those linebackers, and even though they couldn't get to the quarterback, 
They were able to prevent the first down. James steps back to pass. Tackle at the 41-yard line. So they run it on fourth down, and they pick up the first. Boy, big play there, Brad. You know, a lot of times on fourth down, you'll see the ball carrier panic, but not this guy. This is a good job of showing patience and letting the run develop. Caught, and he's out of bounds. That's a loss. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 43-yard line. James on the option. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Super job here by the defense of filling the gaps on the line. If you keep stringing out plays like that, you can really shut an option attack down. They bring him down. Great play by the defense. But that time they came with the blitz and the linebacker was able to get free and come away with a sack. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. He showed a good burst there. They'll start this drive at the 29. First and 10. On the handoff, watch out. Makes it to the 44. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. Gets out to around the 48. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. From the 48-yard line, second down. They'll bring him down at the 33. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. Here's the run, got a hole, makes it out to about the 20. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. And now let's send it down to Aaron Andrews with an injury update. Thanks, guys. The training staff is telling me he did suffer a concussion. It is bad enough that he will not be returning. Brad, back to you. Thanks for the report, EA. It's going to be interesting now to see how this team adjusts with him out the rest of the game. Fred, I, I agree. I think it's a given. You've got to keep him out due to this concussion. And, and really, for that matter, for all the young kids that are out there, you don't want to mess around with anything like this. If you take a shot and you have symptoms like dizziness or blurred vision, you got to talk to your coach, talk to your trainer, sit out, avoid any kind of potential risk, and then eventually you can come back once you're feeling better and get back out on the field and help your team. A five-play, 71-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass, just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 104. 14. He kicks it off out of bounds, and that's going to be a penalty. Seems like kicking off should not be such a hard thing to do, but we really do see this happen a lot. They'll start this drive at the 40. Atkins on the option. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. To the right and tackled immediately. Clark picks up a yard on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. Cut. 
Clark takes it up the middle. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. They almost got themselves out of a big hole, but it was not to be. Now they still managed a good gain on third down, and sometimes that's enough to get your confidence back. They'll bring him down at the 13. Well covered by the kicking team. He didn't go anywhere. What I like about this play is that the guys stayed in their lanes and didn't allow the big play. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws falling back and finds his man. And they get five yards from that completion. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. And they got him. Feeling the pressure, and he fumbles the football. They'll take over at the... He passes it. Second down on the 10 yard line. Nice run up the middle. Clark gets six yards on the carry. Third down, four yards to go. Ball on the five. They're packed in tight on the line. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. This will be a 22-yarder. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. White is lined up to kick this one off. Taken from the 10. Got the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the 32-yard line. They'll take over at the 32. We've got a first and 10. Hugh gets it on the inside. Knocked out of bounds at the 39. Hugh picks up about seven yards on the run. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. Hugh takes it up the middle. Nice run up the middle. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. Makes it out to about the 49. From the 49-yard line, second down. Ready. 
So he found his receiver for the first down. Since he only needed a few yards, the little dump-off pass worked to perfection. Straight in the middle, and he meets the defense. Brown comes away with two yards on the carry. Second and eight. Ball on the 44-yard line. Looks to throw. Here comes the pressure. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Chavis picks up around five yards with that catch. It's third down, three to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. They'll throw for the first. And they tackle him at the 11th. What a huge letdown by the defense on a big third down play. Man, that is just inexcusable. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's out of bounds, incomplete. He led his wide receiver too far to the... Side. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. Second down, 11 yards out. They come out in a five-wide set. They came close to giving up the score there. Yeah, but credit the defender. He did an excellent job of reading the play and showing instinct to get a hand there to break the pass up. Nice job. They run it for the first, and he stopped. And he didn't get enough for the first. You now, Brad, he's going to come up short here. The defense does a nice job of not allowing the ball carrier to get out into the open. And he got it. Texas El Paso to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll start at the 20. First down, 10 to go. They'll run it. Nice run to the outside. Clark gains about four yards on the play. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Up the middle for a nice game. From their own 43-yard line. First down. They try running left. Makes it out to about the 46. First and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. Got a man, watch out here. He's brought down in the open field. Close to nine yard pickup there on the slant. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And down he goes at the 33. The pass is complete for four yards, and that'll be a first down. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad, and it allowed the quarterback to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. Atkins gets the ball, slides down to the ground. Right, 
from the 30-yard line. Second down. Atkins, options out, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. It's got to be frustrating for this offense to go backwards, but they've just got to stick with it and know that big plays will eventually happen. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Here's the pass, broken up. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. Yeah, instead of going for the interception, they did the safe thing, and that was just to tip it away. <laughs> Throws it deep. And it's incomplete. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. The defense was able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. Brown picks up about four yards on the play. And he's taken down at the 39-yard line. The game's not over until the final whistle blows, no matter what the scoreboard says. The defense needs to remember that, or this is only going to get worse. Parker gets the carry. Brought down with only one man to beat. From the 22-yard line, first down. Here's a running play. Makes it to the 14. Hicks gets eight yards on the play. From the 14-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. And it's knocked away. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. They come out in a goal line set. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. That was nose-to-nose -nose football right there. And the defense this time wins the battle. The kick is... And they tack on three points. Texas El Paso is lining up to kick this one off. Line drive kick. Not much distance there. Randolph takes it at the 32. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. He's into the open field. To the 20. To the 10. I'm pretty sure they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. The halfback got his number call on the pass play and came through with a score. Well, this is what separates good backs from great ones. You have to have the ability to contribute to the passing game. And he converts the extra point. So with over 13 minutes to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, UTEP 110, Utah State 24. Taken from the 10. Brought down at the 30. They'll go to work at the 30-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Option here. And they'll get him in the backfield. So the quarterback keeps it on the option, but he'll lose a yard. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Can't find anyone open. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Can this offense do anything to slow down this defense? Well, they need to start keeping their backs in to help out and block it. The quarterback is getting pounded back there. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He scrambled. And he's...
sack. And for Madison, that was sack number two. Yeah, that's two sacks today for this defensive end. He's really showed up and played the type of game you'd expect from him. Gutierrez is the deep man awaiting the return. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Looking for the corner, Gutierrez fields it at the 38, and he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. Atkins drops back on first down. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Caught by the sophomore. He's taken down at the 45. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And they make the stop at the 37. Did you see how calm he looked as he stood back there and read the defense? When you know what you're doing and what should be happening, it makes things a lot easier. The blitz was the call, but the D lineman was the one who made his way to the quarterback. And he showed great quickness getting off the line into the backfield. This guy can move for a big fella. Quick strike, and he drops it. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Long ball, right side. So it's fourth down. And they're ready to punt this one away. Brought down at the 16-yard line. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. He makes it to the 18-yard line. Cutler picks up two yards with a carry. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 18. They come out in a goal line set. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Cutler picks up about four yards on the play. It's third down, three to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. Decent run here, right side. That's cutting it really close. But they converted on that run by an eyelash. From their own 27-yard line, first down. They try to run it inside, and he's hammered. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. They'll line it up again on third down. Hugh, back to throw. And he's taken down at the 39. He's up to 300 yards passing. This young man really works at it, and it's always a boost to see that hard work reflected in the box score. He should be very pleased. With this kid at the helm, they've controlled the game from the outset. It's been something else. To the 10. And a huge touchdown play. What a game this kid's having. He's thrown for five touchdowns. Simply an unbelievable display of passing that we've seen today.
And he adds the extra point. A nice seven-play, 83-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. I think the thing, Brad, that I'm seeing is the quarterback's taking advantage of some one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for this offense. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. They'll go to work at the 49. He looks to throw on first down. Tackle at the 31. Great touch by the quarterback. Floating that one right into his hands. That takes some skill. Back to pass, and they got him in a hurry. Great call on defense to mix things up. Yeah, the corner blitz really caught him off guard that time. Goes left and tackled in a hurry. Clark gains about two yards on the run. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. They'll spread the field with five wide. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. That's the second time that he sacked their quarterback today. When you talk about a dominant lineman, this is the kind of guy you're talking about. He's got two sacks today. He can bring constant pressure. Really just a nightmare for the big boys up front. And he's hammered down. You wonder what kind of impact the special teams play will have on the series that comes after a play like that. This could be big for the defense. Handoff up the middle. Makes it to the 31. from their own 31-yard line. First down. Caught open field. At the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. He's all the way, touchdown. It's been one touchdown after another all game long. Everything just fell into place out there and nothing was going to stop these guys from getting the ball into the end zone many, many times. And he tacks on the extra point. A short two-play, 85-yard drive. And a touchdown's a result. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. They'll set up shop at the 29-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down. From their own 26-yard line, second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. This one is batted away. Good awareness defensively that time by the linebacker. Not only that, but as you saw, he also made a very athletic move to get to the ball. He's going to air it long. Doesn't get there. It's a great series here for the defensive side. They know they've got the upper hand right now late in this game. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. Yeah, but his blockers have to do a better job of helping him out. They didn't hold the coverage team at bay. They just let him right through. Perhaps the first step in getting the defense on track is making the offense go further. Nice job of containing the return yards. Well, this offense has found the end zone on their last two drives, and they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. Yeah, there was no lack of offense on that last drive. 
About four yards on that play. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tipped away. This guy is mostly used to stop the run, but here he showed that he's not too bad against the pass either. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 42. Tackle made around the 50-yard line. Wow. That looks like a generous spot to me. I thought he was a little bit short. From the 50, first down. He's going to go for the home run. Touchdown, UTEP. Those few seconds he spent thinking it was a run allowed his man to get separation, and that was it. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 62-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. They'll get the ball here at the 20. First and 10. Adkins, back to pass. Incomplete, almost picked off. Second and 10, ball on their own 20. Nice run up the middle. Goodman gets six yards after taking the handoff on the draw play. They're about four yards away here on third down. Looks for his tight end over the middle. And down he goes at the 40. Well, I think this time he knew he's probably going to take a shot, but he hung in until the last moment and delivered a catchable ball. That's exactly what you want to see from your field general. Throws it, and it's tipped away. It looked like the quarterback thought he had an open receiver there, but I don't think he saw the linebacker. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Adkins, back to throw. They'll make the sack. Third down again. Adkins, back to pass. And he can't get away from the pressure. How about the intensity of the pass rush? And that's how you put a stop to a drive. That is an outstanding job with a pass rush. It's fourth down. They come out in a punt formation. Tackle made at the 38-yard line. And for Rivers, he's had a great game catching the ball. Yeah, Brad, I think with this performance today, he's really sending a message to the entire country that this is a guy you've got to be aware of and you better be prepared for if you line up against this offense. When you have this kind of world-class speed, all it takes is to make one guy miss, and there's nobody that's going to be able to catch up to him. Here's the halfback. He's tackled at the 44-yard line.
from the 44-yard line. First down. Fumble! They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. The offense is lucky to retain possession after that fumble. The coach can't be happy with the way the running back is carrying the football. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. It's second down, two to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. down to the open field. So they gain six yards on the play and pick up the first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. He drops back. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. They get three yards on the play. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. From the 27-yard line, second down. Just over two minutes in the game. Cutler drops back to pass. It's complete, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. First down and goal to go. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He's in, touchdown. So the halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. And he adds the extra point. So that's a five-play, 54-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. So our score, 138-24. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll start at the 20-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Gets out to around the 28. They show pass and then hand it to the back for a pickup of eight yards. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Let's it fly. It's caught. The 10. And he's taken down at the one. Believe it or not, there are a lot of quarterbacks who welcome pressure. They want the defense to come after them because it leaves some gaps in the coverage. And as long as they can make that quick... It can go for a lot of yards. Atkins, back to pass. To the end zone, intercepted. Got some open field. And they'll return this one all the way. You don't want to criticize a quarterback for trying to make something happen, but I'm not really sure who he thought he was throwing the ball to there. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. We have less than a minute to go. Here's a run. Nice run up the middle. Brown comes away with five yards on the carry. From the 29-yard line, it's second down. Setting up play action. Touchdown! Huge play! And for Cutler, that's another touchdown pass, his third. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. He splits the uprights with the extra point. 
A quick two-play, 34-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So the score now, 145-24. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. They'll get the ball here at the 26-yard line. Drops to throw. No protection. They got in there in a hurry. What a play by the freshman linebacker. There's really nothing he could have done against a rush like that. Back to pass. And he's going to come up with a sack. And for Smart, once again, he brings down the quarterback. What's even more amazing is that this guy's only a freshman. He has quite a career ahead of him. 